Hey, um, my vision's a little off today, so kind of going to be looking around a little bit. But, um, so I just want to talk to you this morning about um, being thankful. Um, someone sent me a um, um, email yesterday about, um, I, I, they sent me an email, just wanted to chit chat yesterday, and um, when I responded, I just, you know, I, I said that I was having a rough day and they asked if I wanted to talk. And so, anywho, this is what kind of um, um, prompted this post. Um, I want to say that I am very thankful. I know sometimes if you're looking at my post on Facebook, you can probably tell that I'm very thankful, very grateful for where I am. And um, But maybe my YouTube posts don't show it quite as much. Um, my YouTube posts are a little bit more real with what's going on from day to day, whereas my Facebook posts are real as well. Um, it, um, just different size, but I am very thankful, but I'm tired. So um, they're real on both sides. Um, I got, surely you've got to know what that's like, um, being grateful and tired. <clears throat> Um, so I'm thankful for a lot of things. And so I just wanted to kind of tell you a couple of things that I'm thankful for. Let me turn the TV down. I always forget to turn the TV off before I start the um, video. But <clears throat> so I am um, thankful for, um, I'm thankful for that I found out that I have breast cancer and that it spread and that we found out. And I'm thankful that I am um, or that they view me as young enough and healthy enough to fight. And so I am fighting and I'm not giving up. And someone said, you know, yesterday I was talking to my mom and my uncle um, and they were just like, you know, don't give up. And it was just and it wasn't anything that I said. It was just I sounded so drained. And it was after I had left the hospital and I really was tired. Um, and I'm not giving up, even even on the days where I sound completely exhausted. I'm not giving up. Um, so I am. I'm very thankful that I have um, been able to fight the way that I've been able to fight. Um, I'm so very thankful for all the support that I have from my family, my family, um, and my family is so much larger than just the one sister, one brother, um, that, and mom, and, um, that, that I was born into, and then my husband and my children, um, I have Colorado family, which is extensive, I have Rocky Mount family, which is extensive, Philadelphia family, I have, um, well, not just for the uh, up north family, a lot of family, a lot of family everywhere. Um, aunties, uncles, cousins, 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 um, family like crazy. And I'm so thankful for each and every cousin, even if it's just a post, a like, a text, a email. Demi emails me, texts me all the time or Facebook posts me all the time. And she wants to stay connected with my YouTube videos, which is why I've uh, started to post them on Facebook. Um, my auntie and uncle, uh, auntie Sheila and uncle Jake in, um, Delaware. Um, they stay connected. Every, everybody, I don't, well, I, it's, it's horrible to name names because I have my cousin Sean and Laura who are here. Um, obviously my sister who makes me teach my sister, brother who makes me teach us my brother who's in Australia, uh, who's always connected with his silly behind. It's just like, hurry up and get well. So this can be about me again because <laughs> he's the baby. Um, but anywho, everybody, I'm so, so thankful for all of my support. Um, and, um, that's just my family and the, my friends, crazy, crazy friends. I have so, 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 so many, um, core friends but then just facebook friends friends that new friends old friends people who are just just friends and i'm just so very thankful for my church omg covenant life fellowship and um just i, I can't even 
I can't even, well, I can't talk about it. Um, my, my church has bought church to me. They call me and they have me on the phone to listen um, during Bible study. Um, they're always calling, texting, you know, emailing, trying to make certain that I have available the word, which is very important, especially during this time when I'm walking such a, a challenging um, walk. Um, I love Pastor and First Lady. They are amazing. My entire church body, um, I, I started to name them in other posts and I miss some people. Um, and I hate to name them again, but I miss Etta. I love her to pieces who I um, don't get to talk to a lot just because of life. Um, Miss Marva, I love her to pieces as well. Everybody, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to do this today because we'll get back into the names and <clears throat> me missing and forgetting somebody, which I never want to do. Um, but I do want to thank Miss Betty Height, who lives right down the street from me, who's always available to me, and Miss Tanya, Tanya Dunn and Greg, who are right up the street from me, who are also always available to me, and Miss Rosesta. Uh, of Zesty Creations, who's always available to me as well, and Gina and everybody. Okay, everybody started to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, everybody, I love you and I thank you all. Um, I am um, very thankful for the opportunity. You know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity not to have the disease, but this opportunity has afforded me. Um, a chance to get to know people on a different level. It supported me in a chance to um, talk to be. I've been able in sharing my journey. I've been able to learn about other people's walk and other people's struggles and other people's challenges. And I've been very um, enlightened and I think instrumental in being able to help some other people along the way. So I don't want this video to be very very long. But I'm also um, above all, I am so thankful for God's amazing grace because if it were not for his grace I don't know where I would be I would not be able to be making this video about how thankful and grateful I am um I would not be um from a physical emotional standpoint where I am um just all of the I just am so thankful but I, I do want to say um while God has been keeping me and encouraging oh I'm so thankful for my work my my work my job my um, co-workers there, Paul, um, Laura, Serena, uh, Angie Poo, um, Lisa Lisa, um, um, oh God, Sammy Poo, everybody, everybody, um, Sally, everybody, um, everybody, 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 um, and I'm missing names, but everybody, um, um, I'm sorry, I digress because I start thinking about them. But um, I do want to say that while I'm very grateful and very thankful, um, there are, um, when I say I'm tired, what I mean by that is I'm, I'm physically tired. I feel like I'm not doing anything and not doing anything actually makes you tired, you know, just laying around and not doing anything. So I feel physically tired all the time, but um, emotionally, I am emotionally drained and um and it's because of all the ups and downs with um all the ups and downs with the disease with the you know one day it's this one day it's that one day i'm hurting out of my mind um and then the next day i'm not and you know it's just so many ups and downs uh, from an emotional standpoint it's very difficult not to be able to um plan things with my husband um we don't get to spend we we spend a lot of time together, but we're, you know we're not doing anything. I'm just laying in bed, and he's just taking care of me, and I'm I'm thankful, very thankful for that. But um, it, it's very difficult. Um, very thankful for. Um, I'm, I'm I'm talking about the difficulties now. Um, my children. Um, this is a crucial year. This is my children's senior. My boys, their senior year. I'm missing a lot. My daughter's fifth grade year. Um, we have lots of years to go, but um, she's a girl. She's the only girl. I'm the only girl, you know, the, her female um, inspiration, if you will. And so um, th that's hard. Um, and 
and there are no little girls really in the neighborhood. So I'm like her only friend and we hang and we do it. So I'm, I'm missing those things. And so um, those things are hard. Um, I'm very social. Um, and this, I think I've said it before, has been very, very isolating for me because of um, not having a spleen. I've been very sick with this disease. Um, and so I've been stuck in the house and it's been very, very isolating. It's been very, very difficult. And I, I appreciate you all with um, desires to visit and desires to, to you know, um, you know, come by and, and all those things. I, I just can't have visitors. I can't really go out. I'm not supposed to. Um, and every time I go out, I have a mask on. I'm supposed to. <laughs> Sometimes I sneak out without a mask, but um, just all in all, it's very overwhelming, but I am very thankful, very grateful. I'm going to cut this off because this is a very long video and I didn't intend for it to be, but I'll be back. I'll talk to you guys again later. Thank you. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.